Transmitting from the beating heart of Las Vegas, it's a dry heat. This is City of Writers Radio, a weekly podcast celebrating the oral delivery of the written word. Now here's your host, Gillian Pacheco of Writeropolis Industries. Let's get to it. Death served two tours in the war, a media circus of Ohio hippies, and escapes from Saigon via helicopter. Lit by the fireworks on the nightly news, gilded the blood of the conscripts, photographed by Leica. Building roads as a CB, leaning the mud caked on his boots with gasoline, the kids around the airfield, were being active landmines held tight like teddy bears to their chests, goofy grins on their toothless mouths, knowing that you guys would give them chocolate. Your anxious, wakeful sky sends shivers down my spine. My footfalls want to echo your shrinked. Tuned to a radio station only we can hear. Dad's diabetes eats away at his vision, takes away his license to live. I had to sit the diabetes was aggravated by his exposure to Asian Orange, because he served under the man who first deployed it. I love the snow and napalm in the morning, a day you will never see inside your earthen crater. Do you want your ad to air on a future episode of City of Writers Radio? Now's the time to support your small business journey. Load up writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word, in your browser to get started. Distortion. Where are you from? A person is often asked. Where indeed? I have no answer. My eyes are slanted, but I'm not oriental. I'm not a rug, don't tread on me. My jeans are Levi's, but I'm not a stadium. Don't play games with me. My feet are blistered, but I don't wear high heels. I can walk on broken glass. I'm from California, they say, naive with the social cues. No, farther back, they insist. What do you mean? I reply, and it hits me. What's a brown girl like you doing in a desert like this? I lock my jaw, squint my chinky eyes, and say, I was born in Oakland, California, at the Oakdale Naval Hospital, September 18, 1983. Cut me. I bleed red, white, and blue. I don't understand how people see me, and every day is a struggle to reconcile the world that I belong. So I don't. Their struggle with me is not my struggle. I eat rice with my bare hands, and I shoot guns in the desert. I like superhero movies, pop music. How you see me is not my problem. I am who I am, and I don't give a damn. Let's renew our hearts, minds, and spirits this week. You can build or reconnect with a reading habit with silent book clubs. Get your writing spirit back by reading for an hour a week with old friends and total strangers. Interested in connecting with other book lovers? We're right here, waiting for you. RSVP to our next meeting at writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word. See you soon. When I was naive, the sinellus on my feet do not protect me from the grains of sand. My mother's pale skin is a gentle reminder for me to protect my face from the sun so I don't get tan like my ancestors. But the freckles sprinkled by my cheeks are my tell. I have no poker face here. A murder of cacti and bloopy tumbleweeds in wide, open spaces. But that can't be true. My childhood was the green grass that made me itch, the hand-me-down purple banana seat bike, and the depths of my imagination. Selling candy to go to Great America with the school band, driving to Chinatown in the city for Chopin and the pink boxes, Pausing briefly at Treasure Island, pointing at the house where Koya broke his arm, the house where they used to live, years before I was born. But that was never my home, it was theirs. My house was on the south side, cheap side, wrong side, driving over the Lion Bridge twice a day, separating us from them. Dreaming of cheesecake from the kitchen that I loved so much, I cooked rice in that house, I cleaned the toilets in that house. I wept for the shards of my broken heart in that house, but I am not home. 
not Filipino enough for the Filipinos, not American enough for the Americans, too Filipino for the Americans, too American for the Filipinos, but I am not American, I am not Filipino, I belong to both, I belong to neither, brown skin, big nose, what is normal anyways, crown princess at birth. City of Writers Radio is 100% listener funded. Do you want to be a part of the podcast's future? Gillian wants to know what she can do to make it better. You can help her understand where she needs to improve by taking the audience survey today. Access it now at writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word. Thanks for joining us this week on the City of Writers Radio podcast with your host, Gillian Pacheco. Make sure to visit our website at writeropolis.com forward slash podcast, where you can subscribe to the show in Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcatcher, so that you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in City of Writers Radio, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Check out Writeropolis Industries for all your writing and editing needs. Be sure to tune in next week for another generous helping of creativity to nourish your soul. Until then, love, peace, and adobo grease.